Welcome back uh, to a lecture series on hydrogeology. In this lecture, now we are going to discuss about the Burroughs diagram. So, this is one uh, graphical interpretation. There are many graphical interpretations as we have discussed uh, in the earlier lectures. Uh, graphical interpretation is the best uh, uh, interpretation to understand the distribution of water, water characteristics, water chemistry characteristics uh, and its uses in terms of uh, in terms of agriculture, in terms of industry, in terms of domestic. So, we need to, we cannot as, we cannot visualize everything in the, what is that, numerical numbers after doing analysis of water, we will get calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium as cations and then CO3, CO3, Cl and SO4 in cation, um, anions and then ECPH, GDS and other uh, minor elements, uh, all the I mean uh, results output are in the form of numerical numbers. So, so we will not be able to, we will not be able to use as such uh, to look into the numerical numbers to classify. Um, better way that uh, this has to be plotted uh, in uh, the diagram. The diagram, visual diagram is more you know, informative than uh, the numerical numbers. So in this line, a bureau uh, classification, a bureau diagram interpretation is one to understand. Bureau in 1956 classified the water into four classes based on its quality. He has made four classes: uh, the class one, class two, class three, class four. That is A class one, B class two, C class three, and D class four. Bureau's uh, diagram consists of two triangles. So, this uh, in, in this square, uh, the left side, uh, they have prepared a diagram of what is a triangle 1 and uh, on the top triangle 2. And, uh, this is uh, uh, major cations and uh, this is uh, anions diagram representing calcium at one end 100 percent, magnesium at other end 100 percent and sodium at other end 100 percent. And uh, over here, uh, HCO3 is 100 percent for this uh, trilinear diagram and sulfate is 100 percent on this location and the chloride uh, chlorine is 100 uh, percent at uh, the right margin of it and uh, the samples after doing analysis and the results are uh, plotted in this uh, triangle diagram once if it is plotted uh, uh, this is going to be projected so this is going to be projected into the square at the center and this is going to be projected at the center and the samples accordingly classified into four groups as A, B, C, D. And it, what this tells that uh, suppose if the sample is moving from here to this ion exchange, if the sample is you know, um, this is moving from here to here is reservoir exchange and simple dissolution or mixing. So, the, the interpretation goes by understanding the different ion exchange and other cations and anions movement. One triangle represents cations, that is left triangle. The other triangle represents anions on the top of it. The cation specify the parameters of the left triangle, the major cation C, A, N, G, N, A. The anions generally uh, specify the parameters of the upper one uh, that is uh, bicarbonate, chloride and sulphate. So, this is the diagram uh, representation. Uh, he has also in addition to that Duro plot allows uh, for the direct comparison of two, two other groundwater samples typically pH and TDSO. You can also take pH and TDS over here and that also can be interpreted by using this. So, that is additional capacity or the additional um, improvement of uh, uh, Duro's diagram and its interpretation with respect to groundwater quality is concerned. The cumulative effect of both ions are projected into a square. The effect of over here, the effect over here is, is projected here. The square is divided into four fields, uh, field A, field B, field C, field D. A is pure water, B is no contamination water zone and B is moderate quality zone and D is higher concentration, high concentration of sodium and chloride. The trilinear uh, duro plot is based on the percentage of major ion equivalents, uh, milli equivalents. Uh, so, the, what, what the trilinear, it is basic, basically taking percentage of major, major ion concentration in uh, milli equivalents. 
the duro plot is an alternate plot maybe we have discussed piper trailing a diagram in such a way here this two also projected into center there it is projected into the center part as a diamond field but here now we are projecting these two information into the center square so with this uh, the duro interpretation is come to an end we will be able to classify the water into four category a is pure water b is uh, no contamination water and c is moderate quality of water and d is higher concentration of sodium suppose wherever the our sample falls here based on that we will be able to classify again this is being classified into uh, nine classes that is more in depth duro classification that is not but in general normally how we use is only with this four field with this uh, the discussion of duro diagram interpretation is come to an end thank you very much